Hello, today we are doing the standard algorithm, two digits times two digits. So I want you to keep in mind that if you have already mastered, that means you understand how to do something like this. This is the same thing, you're just doing it two times. So for example, for this one, we did nine times six and nine times five. You're still gonna do that here. Four times six, four times three. And then you're just gonna go down a row and do it one more time. So it's basically just like taking two of these problems and adding them together. So if you already know how to do this, doing this, it looks like more steps and it is, but there aren't that many different steps we have to do. So let's go ahead and start. So I want you to remember that 36 is one number. So the three and the six are neighbors, they're partners. Um, they are not gonna multiply against each other. They came together. And then same with the 24. This is the 24, the two and the four came together. But what we are going to do is multiply against the other team. So let's say the four is going to multiply against the six and the three. And then when we're done with the four, we go down and then the two is gonna multiply against the six and the three. So you just wanna keep that in mind, keep the teammates on the same team. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And if all of this feels overwhelming, something you can do is cover it. And just think of it like one of those old problems. If I was just doing 36 times four, whatever I get is gonna go there. And then I'll move on to the two, but don't even think about the two right now, just do 36 times four. So how would we do that if it was one of our old easier problems? Well, we would do four times six, right? And you'd carry, and then you do four times three. So let's do that. Start on the right, so the four and the six. Four times six is 24, and we do need to carry, so 24. And then we would do four times three and add that two. Four times three is 12, plus two is 14. So 36 times four is 144. Now you are finished with the four. You need a way to remind yourself that the four, it came, it uh, multiplied, it's done. It did its job. So we cross it out. And that's very helpful to remind ourselves that we're done with it. Now you're just gonna do the whole process again on a lower level, but this time you're doing two times 36, except it's not actually a two. This is a 20. You're doing 20 times 36. Well, all you need to do to show that it's a 20 is put a zero here. And that bumps us up to show, hey, this two is actually worth more because it's in this column, the tens column. So you put a zero and now you're gonna do 20 times 36, but really you just have to do two times 36 because you already stuck the zero in there. So just follow the same steps as before just like you did with the four. So you're gonna do two times six and carry and then two times three. So, and you can see the blue here, just to kind of show I'm doing the blue right now. So two times six is 12 and I'm gonna carry. And two times three is six plus one is seven. And this was from before, so if you want to cross that off, you can, just so it doesn't confuse you. Okay, so just to recap what we did there with the two, we did two times six is 12, two times three is six plus one is seven. Okay, so let's talk about what we have here. This top row is four times 36. This bottom row is two times 36 with the zero 20 times 36. If you want 24 times 36, all you have to do is add these together. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that, and then you're finished. And that's why you add at the end, because what you're doing is you're taking this complicated number arrangement and you're just doing half at a time. You're doing, okay, let's do the four, and then let's do the two, and then just add it all together. So four plus zero is four, four plus two is six, one plus seven is eight. So 36 times 24, is 864. 